Hi guys, it's Rose from Snap Revise here to talk to you about the hardest A-levels. Everybody knows that A-levels are tough, but the real question is, which A-level is the hardest of them all? Personally, I believe it depends on a number of things, namely your personal strengths and weaknesses. The one that is commonly called the hardest is chemistry. This is due to the application-based nature of the course, which expects you to apply difficult concepts to a whole variety of different situations that you may never have encountered. The amount of work required is usually really high to do well at chemistry, and therefore it requires a lot of dedication on the student's part. Similarly, physics is also called the hardest by many students for similar reasons. People tend to struggle with it due to maths-heavy content, which can sometimes account for half the marks. It also involves learning complex theories alongside the difficult maths, which makes it a lot of new content to get your head around. Further maths also deserves a mention simply due to the fact that it's an extension on an already quite difficult A-level, so it's usually only taken on by people who love maths and understand it naturally. Personally, I'd suggest that languages are also one of the toughest. There is an expectation for you to be almost fluent by the end of A2, which means that you learn endless contradicting grammar rules and some days it goes well, but others you have to write things that are completely wrong. I also think that work-heavy subjects like photography and art deserve a mention. Despite it being commonly recognised as a soft subject, it requires a lot of dedication and time to get your work done, and it also requires a lot of specialist equipment. These subjects are still equally as difficult, just in other ways to your typical STEM subjects. Essay-based subjects also get called difficult, mainly due to the sheer content you're expected to learn and write in the exam. This could be anything from key players in a war for history or endless amounts of quotes for English literature. The essay writing method at A-level is difficult to nail and requires a lot of practice to get there. Despite all of this, I'd say that it still depends on your strengths and weaknesses. I find essay subjects relatively straightforward because I'm more of a creative person, but every person is different. The hardest A-level will always be personal and depends entirely on your own strengths and weaknesses. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're looking for an amazing A-level resource, join me and my friends today in our series of engaging, subject-specific and bite-sized video tutorials. Together, we will concisely cover all the important concepts required by your exam board specification, as well as practically apply what we have learned through exam style questions, focusing on how best to structure your answers in order to maximise marks. See you soon, and together, let's make your A-levels a walk in the park.